Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's Mike here. It's time to grind it out, guys. Time to hustle. It's time to get a lot more stuff listed. I'm going to be doing a lot of listings here today. I've got some stuff I'll package up that uh, I'll show you at some point here. But uh, just going to keep pushing forward right until the end of 2016 here. And then uh, just keep the mojo going. Keep the mojo going. Ooh, what do we have here, Kim? My version of monkey bread. Monkey bread. Monkey bread or monkey brains? Monkey bread, monkey. Stop monkeying around. It's time to get some stuff listed. Okay, so just got some packages that I was opening up. There were returns, and I'm not even going to stress them right now. My blood is boiling. I'll show you guys this a little later in the video. It's uh, it's just amazing to me that people just think that they can use and abuse the system, right? And f let me let me time out. You might be saying, Mike, this is part of the business. I understand, right? It's just frustrating when it's over and over, you know, and it's becoming more and more with a lot of these returns, these abusing the system, right? Hey, my item broke, uh, so let me just go buy one off of Mike, you know, on, on Amazon, and then we'll return the, our broken one, and we got a new one, you know? Uh, but, but at some point here, something's gotta change with all this, because it's getting ridiculous, it really is. I would like to thank all of you guys for the Merry Christmas wishes. I really appreciate it. I did see all the comments coming through. Really super appreciate it. Guys, just, you know, just amazing to have a community of people here that you know that watch and engage and understand kind of what we all kind of do right with this with this uh, with this business of reselling. You know, it's it's a it's an easy job when you think about it, but it's difficult to to master at some level. You know what I mean? It takes some a lot of time and a lot of trials and errors. So it's great to to have such a support here when I'm making these videos here on YouTube that uh, you guys are are getting, maybe getting some entertainment out of it, some education, uh, maybe some laughter. Um, but again, I really truly appreciate it. Merry Christmas to all you guys, and we're gonna get ready to have the ha a happy new year here, guys. 2017 is gonna rock. We're all gonna crush it. Trust me, we're gonna crush it. jump into what's sold here today this is a uh, first Amazon orders this first one here is a uh, Game Boy advanced wireless adapter and these little adapters this one sold for $13.94 with sh shipping including shipping right <laughs> I don't know a lot of you guys get confused there you know typically it's it's shipped which means shipping is included is the way I kind of word it around but uh, here's another one it's a Twilight blu-ray just a standard movie here. This ended up selling for five dollars and seventy-four cents shipped. Now I didn't have it wasn't that wasn't my price. I do include shipping on Amazon, but the total was including the shipping. <laughs> five seventy-four. All right, and then this one here. Um, I don't know if you got a lot of you guys know. I I do investments with some products that I buy. Some things I hold out for a while. Sometimes I'll jump on things, especially a lot of the retail arbitrage stuff or new in box stuff, especially toys, collectible stuff like that. I don't know if any of you guys remember this from some years ago. This is, uh, showed this in the video. It's a Captain America Winter Soldier Black Widow figure. And um, these are rocking and rolling for me a couple years ago. Then the market kind of tanked off. And um, I had a couple that I wanted to kind of hold as long term investments. And I didn't send them to the Amazon, just kept them in the garage. This one ended up selling for $59.85 shipped on Amazon. So we'll package this stuff up, guys. I'll move on to some eBay. Okay, moving on to eBay, sold this uh, University of Wisconsin Badgers, just a 90s uh, red size large, it's made by uh, Ultimate Sportswear, and this one sold for $11.26 with free shipping. Last item here I'm showing you guys that I sold today is a pair of Nike Son of Force mid-casual white black men's shoes, size 11. Condition was good, there was some little bit of yelling on the soles. I didn't want to go into great detail and clean them up because they didn't bring much anyway. But uh, this ended up taking three months to sell this shoes, size 11. 
Um, total was $33.04 and going to California. So package this stuff up, guys, and uh, got to keep, keep listing, keep staying busy, and hopefully more sales come in. Show me the money. Show me the money. All right, first knucklehead return of the day. You guys remember I sold this rival nonstick griddle with the box, and this person had zero feedback on eBay, just uh, wouldn't respond to any of my messages. That's that problem I had with that FedEx shipment. Anyway, they got the shipment, and lo and behold, it's broken, they say. They said there was a piece that cracked off during shipping, which is almost impossible because I double-boxed it, and um, replied back to them. I said, can you send me some pictures of some boxes? They refused to, and pretty much just opened up a uh, return, and, of course, we have to pay the shipping on that. So, uh, you know, um, could it have gotten broken in transit? Sure, you know, it's possible, but... Uh, they're not replying back to me. They won't send me pictures of the box. They won't send me the pictures of the actual rival box because in order for the hand, it's the handle that cracked off or a side piece that there had to have been some damage to the box at some point. So uh, that's the way it goes, guys. I mean, we'll see what happens when we get it back and I'll keep you posted. So I sold these uh, troll roller skates to this woman and uh, sold them for like $42 merchant filled on Amazon. And she just kept harassing me and harassing me about... Uh, First, that she got the package, and the package was, oh, you know, it was used. And I said, well, okay, no problem, return it back to us. And um, she goes, no, I'm not returning it. You know, it's a Christmas present. I'm like, well, I'm sorry. I mean, trust me, guys, these weren't used. They were brand new. I sealed the box with, with poly uh, tubing. Anyway, uh, I said, you know, she kept asking me for money back. Just she wanted the money back. She wanted to keep the item, wanted the money back. Here's the message she gave me. Just, it's nuts, right? Um, hey, you know, I just mark it as, as no response needed, you know? She hasn't opened up a case to return it. And if she does, I'll, I'll take the I'll, I'll take the item if it's in the condition that I sent it to her. Be more than happy to refund her the money. But the craziness is about to start with all these crazy people with the returns. And the last knucklehead for today is uh, this Legend of Hell House DVD disc only. You guys saw me sell this thing. He sent it back to me. He sent it in a bag, and uh, no no protection on it whatsoever, and uh, just said it didn't work. I mean, he once he got it, he that's that was the reply I got, and I'm like, yeah, just send it back, no big deal. I think he spent like nine bucks or ten bucks or something. I don't know. Anyway, I flipped the disc over, and as you can see from this picture here, it's he tried to like use a cheap machine or something to repair it. This wasn't the actual disc I sent because all these discs that I have on here, guys, they're, they're like the bottoms of them are glass clean. There's no marks on them, so that that was a dead giveaway there. Just, you know, just headaches that, you know, are part of the reselling business here, and there's really not much you can do. I, ca I mean, you can, I call Amazon, eBay, but at the end of the day, sometimes they're just zero help. So just got to uh, keep plugging along and moving along. Okay, guys, I get a lot of spam messages on my comments on YouTube, and I just thought I'd share this one. I thought it was kind of interesting. Uh, you know, the person put, hey, Mike, love your videos, blah, 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 blah. Check out my eBay store. Everybody buy from me, et cetera, et cetera. And, you know, I click on the link, and I'm just, you know, I was a curiosity to look at the eBay store. And just, just the wrong approach with some of this stuff. I mean, selling coffee mugs for 99 cents with, you know, $6.80 shipping is uh, is kind of ridiculous, you know. And um, it's, it's one of those things where <laughs> it, there's no money in it. I mean, as you can see here, this person who sold this, there's, there's zero money. So uh, if you guys are doing this type of stuff out here, you know, literally selling these coffee mugs for this type of price, I mean, tell me how there's any money here. So tell me, please. I'm curious. Now, I'm not complaining here about the returns. It's part of the business. Does it upset me? A little bit here, but what else? What, do you, what can you really do, you know? And um, as for the coffee mug thing, you know, it's just, hey, everybody runs their eBay business the way they want to run it, right? I come on here and show you guys how I run my business. By all means, I'm not perfect. Do I make millions of dollars in every item? You know, people say, oh, man, your margin's too small. Oh, your margin's, did they ever say your margin's are too high, you know? Um, but at the end of the day, you know, all I can say is what works for me, and whatever works for me, might work for you. What's working for you might not work for me, right? But uh, just throwing that out there, guys. Who needs Chef Ramsay when you have Chef Kim? Look at this, guys. What do you call this, Kim? Spinach dip? <laughs> Yum. So one of my goals for the end of the year is to pretty much eliminate a lot of these under $20, $10 items that are sitting on my eBay stores, right? I just want them gone. I don't want to start getting involved with selling a lot of these small type items. I don't have a problem with selling that stuff on, you know, like Amazon, for example, right? If it's small stuff that I can store, but I'm truly trying to get away from that. So um, from now until the end of the year, I'm just going to be blowing stuff off. I've got my store already set, I think, at 35% off on the, the one eBay store there. Some of the other stores are set a little higher. 
And I'm going to gradually go at like every two, three days, 40%, 50%. Just get rid of the stuff, right? And uh, once January 1st comes around, you know, I'm going to be gearing up and uh, just rebuilding that inventory, right? That's that's one of the things here because, you know, if it's a long tail item, for example, right, that it's, let's say it's a concert shirt, right? I'm not going to get rid of that, right? I'm just talking about some of these graphic shirts I have, some of this basic stuff that's currently priced under $20. That's what I'm really trying to eliminate right now. So maybe that might work for your business too. If sales are slow, you know, maybe look at your inventory before the end of the year and say, listen, maybe I just need to get rid of some of this stuff. Just discount it. Again, you don't want to do it as a loss. You don't want to sell these items for a loss or, you know, remember, you know, if you paid a dollar for it or something like that, at least try to get your money back, right? Um, be foolish to, to sell something for 99 cents with free shipping on it on auction. And that's, it ends for a dollar. Next thing you know, you're in the hole with the shipping cost eBay fees, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. guys so i really appreciate you watching the videos if you enjoyed this video hit the like button also i'm curious do you like these type of vlog styles because i'm planning on putting them out every day is unless i get super crazy busy but i'm really enjoying making these videos for you guys and uh having fun doing it that's the most important thing but leave me a comment down below let me know what you think about the vlogs maybe there's something that needs to be improved maybe there's something you really like about them um really appreciate the feedback on that guys but till next time guys i'm out of here peace vlog over